All right, so I just got started into my 2015 offseason prep. Um, my main focus right now was just trying to put on some real good quality size and you know really trying to optimize my gains. So as far as my diet goes, is I'm not eating super clean right now. I'm not doing just chicken and rice and you know lean proteins. I'm you know I'm I'm eating uh, comfortably. I'm still hitting good numbers. I'm still hitting getting about 300 grams of protein in a day. You know, watching my carbs, just kind of reading my body and how I'm looking. You know, I want to stay nice and full. I don't want to ever be flat because when I'm flat, my body's not going to be able to grow as well, opposed to having that extra energy within my body. So I keep my carb intake pretty high. As you can see right now, I'm I'm eating the famous honey rambod special. You know, I'm doing some chicken kebab, some some white rice, a little bit of hummus before my workout. Um, you know, I'm just trying to get as much food as I can in my body, making sure I'm optimizing my pumps in the gym. If I go into the workout depleted, I'm not going to be able to get the maximal growth out of that session. So you know, making sure that my food's high throughout the day, keep my body refueled is very important in this off season to really hit my target weight, which, you know, is approximately 215. So I'm sitting about 200 pounds right now. I'm going to try and get up to 215 uh, and maintain a, you know, decent body composition. I'm not trying to let my body fat get too high. Uh, where it's at right now is plenty. Um, but, um, you know, as we get closer to, to the Arnold and closer to some of the events, I'm going to start leaning down because I got some more photo shoots coming along. But, um, like I said, right now, my main focus is just trying to put on some sheer mass and bring a lot thicker and more well-developed and more three-dimensional physique to Olympia stages coming year. So here you have it, some Persian food, the best pre-workout. All right, guys, we're back. It's 2015. This is our first video. Come back to you guys. So after Olympia, I shot the movie The Perfect Physique. Right after that movie, I suffered two injuries to both shoulders due to a preliminary uh, chest injury that I had from the previous year before. I didn't rehab that injury correctly, so I had two bad shoulders due to that because of overcompensation um, with that injury. So, you know, eight, 10 weeks, not really be able to lift anything over 30 pounds. I'm finally back, my strength's coming back, I'm feeling healthy, and we're ready to go. So, the first thing I do that really helped me get from with my, with my injury to where I'm at now, was really just taking care of my body and, and making sure to take the time to stretch and do my warm-ups and really to work on rotator cuff and really do the things I don't want to do when I go in the gym, but making sure that I do it because those little things are what's going to make you uh, have a longer career. It's what's going to keep you healthy throughout. If you start avoiding these things, your body is going to start turning on you. So take care of your body and it'll take care of you in turn. First exercise I like to do whenever I come in the gym is I just grab a band and I'm just going to work rotator cuff exercises. All right? So I'm going to come up and around, just working that range of motion. The closer I grip on the band, the more resistance. So I start relatively wide and work my way closer in. As you can see, the resistance increases. Really just working that rotator cuff, stretching the chest out about 10 times. This really just opens me up, gets my shoulders loose. Now I'll go one at a time. Working a different part of the shoulder. Let's go five on each side. One more. Let's go to the other side. It should be challenging, it shouldn't be easy, so you should feel resistance when you're doing this. I usually repeat that exercise about three times, it's those, those two. Next one, overhead squat. The overhead squat's really good because it works with stabilizers of the shoulders. It's gonna incorporate the whole kinetic chain. The kinetic chain is everything in your body working together. So from the feet up, okay, so then utilize the core, the lower back, your stabilizer muscles, the shoulders, everything gives a nice, Exercises to work the synergy of the body. So again, shoulder width apart, weight on your heels, hands are straight up, lock out the elbow. Keep your chest up, we're gonna sit deep in that squat. The hands shouldn't drop forward. Chest up, sit on those heels, and back up.
moving along. The hamstrings is a big, big muscle. You want to make sure you loosen up before your exercise. The hamstrings, a lot of that has to do with your lower back pain. If your hamstrings aren't loose, you're going to get really tight glutes, which in turn will cause lower back pain, which a lot of people have. So always stretch out your hamstrings before. I just do a basic stretch. Reach down, slide down the knees. That way I can go a little bit deeper. Keep all attention on my hamstring. You can work your stance. The wider you stand, it's going to change the angle on the hamstring. Work a different part. Breathe in deep and exhale a little deeper into the stretch. As you can see, I'm really tight in the hamstrings. Some lateral movements. So after dynamic stretching, I like to go into more uh, static stretching. So it really opens up the chest a little more, getting ready for my workout. Okay, I'm gonna stand here, elbow against the pull, I hold for about 10 seconds, keep my shoulder down and back to open that chest up. Hold for about 10 seconds. And we're gonna extend it out. And we're gonna turn our body a little bit more. Again, lock that shoulder down and back, open that chest up. Ten seconds on each side. We're gonna work the rear deltoid now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab across the bar here, and we're just gonna lean into it. Hold for about ten seconds. Now we're gonna go into a last stretch. Same arm here. We're gonna step behind the right foot, and we're gonna open it up. Good, let's repeat on the other side. 10 seconds here. This is the shoulder of the bad chest, the bad pec. My range of motion is a little bit off. I've been working on it a lot. My shoulder doesn't rotate back like, it, like the other, like the right side does as much, but we're making progress on it. Do be better soon. So I've been doing these exercises about 10, 15 minutes before I train every single day and it's made a big difference in my ability to recover quicker and also prevent other, my other injuries from getting worse. That rear delt. To the lat. Last thing I can do before I jump my workout is stretch my neck out. Straps are usually a very overactive muscle for a lot of people. A lot of people use that muscle to take over other muscle groups, so it's important to loosen that muscle up. I have a Theracane for that as well. You need my Theracane? So this is a Theracane. I use this for self-myofascial release. Basically, you find an overactive muscle or a tight muscle, and you're gonna apply pressure to it. The reason why we're gonna do that is gonna loosen those muscles, that loosen that muscle up, and that way we won't have the compensation. Your body will bypass that overcompensating muscle. It will relax, may cause it to relax. It'll enable you to train the proper muscle. A lot of times your, your traps take over for the chest or your traps take over for the shoulders or even when you're training back, you might not get the lower lat or the medial, the medial back, you might be pulling your traps. Release that muscle and you'll be able to fire the underactive muscle. So again, I'm just putting pressure on it right now until I feel a good release. I'll work some range of motion with my neck here, lengthening the muscle out. 
Look down, moving around that muscle for both sides. This is great to do in between sets as well. You actually see your strength go up if you're able to release these muscles in between your sets later in your workout. A lot of times you can train, the traps get real tight and your strength kind of goes down because you've hit a dead spot. But if you're able to release that muscle, you don't necessarily have that dead spot. I'm loose, I'm feeling good, and we're ready to go. All right, so a big thing is supplementation. A lot of stuff on the market, tons and tons of different products, pre-workouts, BCAs, proteins, you know, there's so much stuff out there. How do you choose the right one? I always go with quality. You know, for me, like I said before in the past, I got a Ferrari in my body. You aren't gonna put the cheap gasoline in a Ferrari. You're gonna put the premium gasoline in a Ferrari, so you make sure your Ferrari runs in, in, at its optimal level. Same thing for your body. Why would you put cheap supplements inside of your body if you want to operate at an optimal level? You don't. I sign on the image of nutrition because I trust quality, and quality is what I want. So when I'm working out, I stick with Glycoject, EVP Plus, Cell Chem, Carnagen, and Lipocide. Lipocide is my fat burner. I take it in the morning before my pre-workout. One pill lasts me all day long. The Carnagen, this is our carnitine. I love to take this in the morning. It generates a good sweat, helps control my appetite, helps metabolize the fat within my body. I take a scoop and a half before my fast cardio and I'll do a scoop before I work out. In that case, it's right now. Moving along, we got a cell chem. BCA glutamine electrolyte blend. Excellent post-workout -re post, uh, post recovery. I take this three times a day. In the morning, after my workout, and before bed. This up, this product right here has really helped keep my muscles full, help me recover, and really limits my soreness. I'll do this one before we train to keep me full. EVP Plus, this is the pre-workout. I love this product because it's not overstimulated. A lot of pre-workouts have a lot of caffeine, a lot of stimulants in them. And those are, caffeine and stimulants are counterproductive to what we're trying to achieve when we work out with optimized blood flow. Caffeine and stimulants are vasoconstrictors that's gonna cause your veins to close up. We don't want that in the gym. We wanna optimize that blood flow to maximize delivery of blood and nutrients and oxygen to the muscles. The more we do that, the better pump we're gonna get and the better size we're gonna get, and the faster we're gonna grow. For myself, I only need one scoop of this before I train. And last, my off-season favorite right here is Glycoject. Fast acting carbohydrate, and just keeps my muscle bellies full throughout my whole workout. Also a great post-workout recovery drink as well. Get those simple carbohydrates in your body and spike that insulin level, optimize that growth and delivery of nutrients to the muscle. I'll do a scoop and a half during my chest workout today. That's it. Let's get after it.